calling you radical. So they're jumping ship like the fucking rats that they are. Now they see this. And my apologies to, you know, his name's not Ryan. His name's Brian. And he was beat to death. And that's coming from real credible fucking sources that I have developed. And my, you know, peace vigil, peace vigil, peace vigil. We know everything with the ears and eyes of fucking D.C. So they're jumping ship like the fucking rats that they are. Why the fuck did Trump ship say, where the fuck were they three weeks ago? It's fueling this bullshit. And the Capitol Police that stood down? Whoa. Whoa. Talk about a conspiracy. Talk about, so you got the fucking communications fucking director, uh, Alicia. She jumping ship. Oh, little fucking Mitch McConnell on the Senate floor. Fucking your voice cracking. Almost, little late now. Fucking rats jumping ship like they are. Where the fuck were you two, three weeks ago? When Trump started fueling this fucking bullshit. Fuck, he lost by 7, 7 million votes. Where the fuck were you? That's who caused this. Where the fucking Republican Party? Where's the Republican? The only one that showed up to was Mitt Romney, who I know. I don't like, and I can't stand the Democratic Party. I can't stand it. Nobody's protested fucking Barry Antoine and Obama harder than I have. Nobody's protested the fucking war machine in Bush harder than I have. Nobody stood up to Trump harder than I have. But how the fuck, you enablers, you want to jump ship now that a cop got killed? Fucking, oh, she goes on saying, oh, you know, I just, I'm the communicator. Where the fuck were you two, three weeks ago? And she admits, she admits, well, we knew he was lying. Then why did you stay? Why did you not tear the fucking, knock this fucking revolt down? <coughs> you caused this. Who the fucking, you know, Capitol Police stands down? Fuck, nobody knows like I do. I'll testify. I led the Million Mass March, give the inaugural speech right where Trump did, well, Lafayette on the other side of the White House, the exact fucking path with fucking many, many, many thousands of protesters. Protesters that tried to break through the wall, whatever. Capitol Police me going through. I know I protest all over the world. I know security like no other. There is no... Capitol Police... You're talking the most secure building on fucking earth. They didn't need to call in the fucking nothing. They stood fucking down. They stood down. Opened the door. Why? Who? Who? May, I know Mike. I've talked to him. You know, he, he resigned. Who Who gave the order? I mean, Capitol Police obviously stood down. Now you got a cop murder. I fucking... And this... I misspoke. His name's not Ryan. His name's Brian. You know, I'm all for radical fucking heart to a fucking protest. But for this? For this? This is a coup. So... These rats are jumping fucking ship now. Fuck, it's real easy for McConnell to sit on the fucking floor. And this has nothing to do with left, right, fucking Republican. What the fuck? You know, I don't agree with anything Romney says, but at least he'll have a conversation with me. And I know, I know so many of these people personally. Fuck, I've talked to Trump twice, you know. I talked to him fucking several times in my life. Fuck. This ain't nothing new. He's a fucking monster. He's a fucking madman. Fuck it, this Trump is a cult. I've, I've been, how long have I been calling this fucking Trump movement a cult? If this doesn't prove it, and they knew they were coming, they knew they were coming. Fucking unbelievable, it's a coup. I mean, he's been wanting to be a fucking King Trump for fucking, I mean, he's been enabled his whole life. I mean, they were playing fortunate son in front of it. I didn't know, I mean, the anti-fucking, Fogarty's threatening, but you quit saying it. Fuck the most fortunate son of them all. This pompous born with a silver spoon up his fucking ass, get away with anything he ever wanted his whole fucking life, and he does it again. All these fuckers jumping ship now, jumping ship now. Your this this cop's fucking death. Well, all this these five deaths are fucking bloods on your fucking hands. You killed the fucking cop. They beat him to death. Ripped the fucking fire extinguisher thing and smacked him in his fucking head. Oh, it was a stroke. Oh, it was that? I'm so sick of that Antifa bullshit. Talk about, I'm in D.C. I know all these fucking protests, personally. I mean, nobody knows more than I do as far as the street activists are. Play back the tape. I've led this exact identical march. I know what fucking security is at that Capitol. I know what it is. They don't need to call in anyone. <laughs> they stood fucking down. Why? Why? Who, who ordered them to stand down? You know, these enablers? Oh, they're all jumping ship now. They're all jumping ship. Fucking, because the cop died. It's a whole nother fucking animal now. Jump, where were you then? When they hide you? I remember when Cruz and all of them were going fucking off on... I'm, well, even Romney. Fucking, he goes off on... I was at the fucking uh, 
Huntsman at the Hinkley Center. I was there. Play back the tape. When he fucking did his fucking big fucking lecture and fucking rant. Then fucking right after Trump gets in office, there's Romney sitting having dinner with him. What the fuck? What the fuck? You, I mean, the Republican Party gets fucking annihilated by this guy and you're going to bow to him? Oh, we're going to primary you. Oh, fuck. You want to be on this team? Easy for these rats to jump ship now. You know, this has nothing to do with Democrat or Republican. I can't stand either fucking parties. Fucking, they fueled these fucking fans like, no, look at the vote. Look at the vote. Burgess Solon's here. I mean, they voted for this? <laughs> I'm fucking real. He lost my seven million fucking Giuliani's insane. Lost his fucking mind a long time ago. All these people fucking bowing to this fucking... Fuck that. She said, her interview on CNN. Well, I knew a long time ago he was lying about these view counts. It was just a propaganda machine to a fundraising fucking machine. And she waits till after the cop is dead and after this happens. Too fucking late. Too fucking late. You got to hold them all accountable. These rats are jumping ship now. The Titanic's going down. <laughs> Women and children first. Fucking Guggenheim. Fuck, you ain't no Guggenheim. You know, they stood stoically and went down. You want to fucking jump this ship now? I'm disgusted. It's just like fucking when Obama fucking, for all them fucking years, he gets in, he's anti-war, and what did he do? What did he do? He did nothing. He perpetuated the machine and just destroyed the Democratic Party. I mean, he had all the power. He had 60 Senate seats. He had all the, what did he do? He did shit. You know? He just fucking status quo, status quo. Fuck, and then you let Trump take over this fucking republic and just fuel these fucking fans. Capitulation to the 10 years. The Fukushima, Fukushima, Fukushima. Fu and if you don't think I know, fuck. I'm the guy that started this whole fucking gig. It was called the Post Ignorance Project. Play back the fucking tape. You know, the Post Ignorance Project, which evolved into the Million Mass March, which started on the death of Danielle Willard here in Utah in 2012. And, oh, three women sit around, fucking hashtag, oh, please, fucking please, I made this identical fuck, I will testify, my hand on the fucking Bible, I'll testify, by the way, my PhD is not finished, it is ongoing, and it's fucking publicly funded, because academia has blackballed me, fucking try standing up the nuclear energy crime, you got Lincoln React, Fukushima, 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 hello, hello, I made this idea. I've led this identical march, fucking from the White House right up there. And I didn't say, "Oh, come on, we're gonna march up there and then go into the fucking White House and eat ice cream." You want to jump ship now? That's real fucking easy. McConnell, before the riot happens, voice was cracking up after they lost the two seats in fucking Georgia because his gavel's gone. They want to jump ship now. They see the writing on the fucking wall. They fueled these fucking fans. Why didn't someone stand up to Trump a long time ago? Yo, know, Romney did here look like, you know, I know Mitt Romney personally. I hate his fucking policies, but at least he's friendly to me. And just remember, people are giving me shit all the time. Fuck, I've been fighting for my life. I was given two months to live fucking nine years ago with all this work. At least Mitt Romney will ask me, hey, Kev, how's your cancer fight going? Good, good, good. How's yours doing? How's the family? How's your grandchildren? My grandchildren doing good. How's your grand 25 grand? They're great. You know, he's changed as he's got older because, you know, I don't know. Just because I fucking hate their political philosophy and their political philosophy, I sure ain't going to go fucking try to burn them fucking down. You know, I fucking disagree with violence. I always have. But I've made that march and I'm all into radical fucking protests, just like Jesus, the real Jesus. He went into the temple and tipped over the fucking tables. Hmm, you see what they did to him. So you want to jump ship now. And I misspoke. I said Ryan, you know, his name's Brian. And... I talked to fucking my people there in D.C., and they says, no, they beat him to death. He went back to his office. He got a blow to the fucking head by one of those great big fucking, uh, they said it was the big uh, fire extinguisher. They tore off the wall, and they fucking smacked him in his head with it. There's videos out there. They're fucking physically fighting with the cop. And by the way, inside, because there's the outer ring, okay, where was the outer ring? And you don't think I know? Oh, they're there in riot gear, whatever. There, I mean, you know how many Capitals fucking undercover cops have had conversations with me over the years? Kevin, we're watching your sites. Where are they, you know? Where are you heading next? I don't know. This is a leaderless movement, you know? But they're always ready. And they get through the outer ring. I, when I saw Trump fucking his speech, I was like, this fucker's insane. Fucking totally insane. They're playing fortunate son. That ain't me. No, he's the fortunate son. 
That's the problem. You fucking entitled, fucking pompous, get away with anything for years, and his enablers. Fuck all these enablers. She wants to jump ship now? Fucking jump ship now? And by the way, I can't, I, nobody's protested Barry Antoinette Obama harder than I have. Nobody. Fuck. You know, both these parties are disgusting. You know? But who enabled them? No accountability. The fucking media. Oh, they made her, you know, come on. Call what it is. It's a fucking coup. Who enabled them? She did. Now she wants to come out and say, oh, no, no. All his circle bowing to, yes, and fueling his fucking sick ego. Fucking stand to the rats are jumping ship now too fucking late. All accountability. And that goes for both sides. Fuck, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. You know, Burgess Owens here. Fuck, it make me say, how the fuck is he here fucking here in Utah? You know, and I, I'm friends with the new fucking congressman, R. Blake. I, I like him. Our new governor, fucking Spencer, I like him a lot. I'm friends with him. You know, I don't give a fuck about their RD in front of him. I give a fuck what they do. What did Trump do? Trump fucking perpetuated the Fukushima cover-up and dumped nuclear fucking energy pork, new scale, new scale, new scale, new scale, SMR bullshit fairy tale lies. He fucking gave fucking, loot the future, give to my friends more than Obama. And that's fucking saying a lot. These rats want to jump fucking ship now? Fuck the cult? Fuck. Too fucking late. You know, who let them in the door? Fucking. <laughs> Open the door and let them in. Sister Susie, Brother Bob, <laughs> someone's knocking at the door. Someone's ringing the bell. Someone's beating down the door. Capitol Police to Kevin Blanchard. We watch your sights all the time, Kevin, in plain clothes and things, in Lafayette Park at the White House. Where are you headed next, you know? Mm -hmm. Mingling among us. We get up there. Fuck. You ain't. And I protest all over the fucking world. Nobody knows. And I'll testify to this in court. I've seen people try to break that. Forget it. You ain't getting through that outer ring. How about the poor cop on the inside? Four fucking rings of fucking in there inside there. They don't know that they, they didn't show up. They didn't get the fucking memo. Who told them? <laughs> Rats jumping ships. Stay in tuned.